Today I'm taking you through ICT Grade 2. We are going to do a small revision. Today we are trying to revise and remember the things we learned during last term. Now, what do you remember? Think, 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 think. What do you remember? Try to put down some things before we start. Yes, what do you remember? Now, I remember that we started with web browsers. We started with web browsers. Now, what did we say a web browser was? Yes, I remember we discussed and then we came to the conclusion that a web browser is a software on the computer that helps us to get access to the internet and then search for and then retrieve information. Do you remember that? Yes. And then we mentioned some examples of web browser. Do you remember? Can you write some of them down so that mommy and daddy can see? Please do. Good. So we mentioned Google, Chrome. Do you remember? Ah, ah, yes. And then we mentioned Safari. We mentioned Opera. Now we mention the fifth one is commonly used, you know. Mozilla Firefox. Good. These are a few examples of web browsers we mentioned, even though we know that they are not out there. Good. And then we studied a few parts of the web browser window. Do you remember? Let's do it. Parts of the web browser window. Now, we know every window has what we call the title bar. Good. What else do you remember? Which other parts of the window do you remember? Write it down so that mommy and daddy can see. You've done that. Good. Now, we also stated that it has a control box. You know what a control box is. Tell mommy and daddy. And then we mentioned that it also has a document area. But because it is a web browser that shows us what we get from the internet, we don't call it document area, but we call it what? Content area. Good. Content area. What other key part of the web browser window did we note? The back button, the forward button, the home button, the load button, the reload button, the stop button, the status bar. Do you remember the scroll bars? Clap for yourself. You've done well. Done. Now, after web browser, we jumped on to search engine. Yeah, that was your favorite. I remember. Search engine. I remember that was your favorite because 
you were always on the computer and then you were connected to the internet and then you were browsing through the internet looking for information. And then we even use a software on the computer called Encarta, Encarta Case. Do you remember? Good. So search engine. What is a search engine? We learned that a search engine is a tool on the internet that enables us to search for information and then display the information. True or false? Good. Now, we mentioned examples of search engine. Please write it down so that mommy and daddy can see before I do. Yes? Now, we mentioned Google.com as an example of search engine. We mentioned Yahoo.com. Even mentioned Axe.com. Now, we mentioned a lot of search engines. But I told you one was childproof and it was ideal for us, we the children. Do you remember? Who can tell me? Good. Kidrex.com. Dot org. How many of you remember kidrex.org? Yes. We went there and then we saw amazing things, right? If you can connect to the internet, please do and then show mommy kidrex.com and how interesting it is. Good. Now, we learned web browser and search engines because we want to know how to search for information on the internet, especially when it comes to our homework. Right? Yes. Now, I remember I gave a group activity in the classroom where I asked you to search for information on butterfly. And then I told you how to go about it. That you should phrase your sentence, your search sentence in a way that it wouldn't be too long, it would be short. And then if you want the information to be directly about that, you put it in quotes. Do you remember? Good. Now, information about butterfly, you did search for that. And then you saw numerous websites given to you which was highlighted in blue ink. I told you they were called what? Hyperlinks. Good. Hyperlinks. They are called hyperlinks because when you click on them, it will redirect you to another web page. Right? Good. Now, we went through numerous hyperlinks to finally arrived to a web page that was giving us the right information. But before we did, we used three questions to guide us to get the correct website that gave us the correct information. Do you remember those three questions? Write them down. Let's mommy see. Good. Now, the first question was, do I understand? So the information you've gotten, do you understand it? And then the second question, who can tell me? Is it useful? So the information you found that you can understand, can you use it, especially in answering your homework? Good. And then the third question was what? Can I trust it? Meaning, the information you've gotten, can you trust that is actually the true information about butterflies? Do you remember? Now, to be able to get this you ask your parents to check and then make sure the information is correct and true, right? Good.
So these were the three evaluation questions we used in getting the proper information from our hyperlinks. Do you remember? Good. And then we moved on to how to bookmark the information. How to bookmark how to bookmark the information we've gotten about butterfly so that it will give us easy access to it anytime we open our web browser. Good. Now we stated that after you have opened your web browser, search for your information about butterflies and then you found the right one. You right click on the title bar and then you select bookmark selected tab. Book mark selected tab. Do you remember? And then a small window appears where you will name your selected tab. You name the tab and then you click on save to bookmark that particular information for you. So that anytime you open the web browser and then you want to retrieve that information, it is easy for you to access. Good. Now, to end the term, we quickly jump on spreadsheets. Do you remember spreadsheets? Now here we spoke about spreadsheets and its examples. We mentioned the Excel, the Google Sheets, the iWork Sheets and other numerous examples. But we draw on Excel. And then in Excel we studied the window a bit. We studied the parts of the Excel window where we identified the title bar the active cell yes I know you can continue yes good the cell uh -huh. values yes Yes, good. Labels. Formula bar. And the list went on and on. I know you remember all. Complete it and let's run in 90 C. And then we learned how to insert text and numbers in a cell. We even learned what an active cell is. Please do tell mommy and daddy what a cell is, the title bar, the values, what they are. We mentioned there are numbers that we use in performing calculations on Excel. And then the labels, we mentioned are characters, letters, numbers that are mixed together to name a particular cell. But then, uh, we didn't quite finish and then we had to go for a long break. But don't worry, I'll catch you up and then give you a new topic next time when we meet. So until then, please stay safe, stay at home, don't disturb mommy and daddy. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.